Happy Monday, everyone. I'm so excited to share with you a short but very powerful story. And it impacted me so much that I decided to include the story in my book, The Best Worst Thing That Happened to Me, because it conveys what this book is about, you know, about stop being the victim and becoming the architect of your life and taking control and realizing that we're not power, powerless bystanders. We are powerful beyond our imagination. So I hope you enjoy the story. And this one is from Discover the Power Within You. And Eric Butterworth recounts a Hindu legend of a time where men and women were as powerful as God and goddesses. But because the people had a tendency to abuse their power, Brahma, the leader of the Hindu pantheon, uh, determined that the gods needed to take the power back and hide it where our kind could never find it again. The council of gods discussed various places to hide humanity's power, but Brahma disagreed with every suggestion they made. If the powers were hidden deep in the earth's crust, he felt sure that one day we will find a way to dig it out. If hidden in the deepest reaches of the ocean, he felt sure that we would eventually learn to dive deeply enough and find it underwater. And if hidden on the highest of high mountain peaks, eventually we will climb to the highest and find it. Frustrated, the council gave up and they said, we don't know where to hide it. They, as you pointed out, there is no place on the earth or in the sea that humans won't eventually reach. At last, Brahma had an idea and he told the council, I know what to do. We will hide the power deep inside each person because they will never think to look in there. I just love this story because, well, it speaks the truth about our human nature. We always think that we don't have any power and sometimes we, we give it away or we let other people take it and then we spend our whole lives thinking that we're powerless and we never think to look inside for that thing that is rightfully ours. And so we spend time in our lives like longing for this power and we search for it everywhere as the story says and you know as the god suspected we look for it in other people we look under the sky above the sky in the sea for this power that has always been within us all along and i think that is one of the reasons why people can find happiness because we are conditioned to look externally for the things that can only be found within. And given that today is Monday, the first day of the week, let that be your theme. Every day this week, make a point to connect to that power. Make a point to go within and trust your God-like abilities and connect with your divinity because we are divine. You, me, us, we were given God-like powers and gifts such as, you know, creativity, tenacity, resilience. And the only way that we can access these gifts is by realizing and accepting that the power is already within us. I hope that you have enjoyed this story. Please subscribe to my channel and help me grow. And if you'd like to get a copy of the best worst thing that happened to me, you can find it in Amazon or on the link below the show notes of this message. In the meantime, I wish you a great start of the week. Stay safe, stay grateful, and I'll see you next week with another beautiful story and inspirational lesson.